was to get him to follow me around like a puppy dog. Um, so what I'm going to do now is transition from me releasing the pressure on his head when he steps forward to making it his choice and his fault if he doesn't. So my hand is going to now be like set on my hip as I'm walking. <clears throat> and when he lets this rope get tight, I'm not going to release the pressure. And when he comes forward, I'm not going to release the pressure. When he comes forward, he's going to release the pressure. Because once I set this like that, see how he just walked forward? So he's already starting to figure out how to get away from that pressure. So now as I walk and start walking, once he really figures out that if he just follows this line and follows me around, that there won't be any pressure on his head, then he will be just following me around in circles. But now it's all up to him to get off of the pressure by following me and following this rope. My circle as wide as I possibly can now, all the way to the edge of this pen. That way he has to move forward off of the pressure. And if he stops, that's when the pressure gets real tight on there. There he had a big, a big realization of walking forward to get off the pressure. Let's see if he'll follow me out to the edge this time. corner. Good. Right on. Starts to get tight here again. He walks forward. Gets tight. He walks forward. Gets tight. He walks forward. He's starting to get the idea. I'm going to give him a little break. So as you notice, as I come down this uh, side right here, he would walk forward, which would give it a little slack. I kept walking and it would go tight. Then he would walk forward, like, eh, like, <laughs> like, he's going to in about a second or two, like that, <laughs> and give slack in the rope. Then I keep walking, and it gets tight again. So he's getting the idea that when it gets tight, if he just takes a step forward, it goes away. Keep, keep going. As soon as he gets tight, what's he gonna do? He's gotta step forward to release the pressure. He gets tight again, he's gotta step forward. It's tight again, he's gotta step forward. He has to step forward. Otherwise it'll just stay tight.
time. Let's see if we can just walk all the way to the corner. Have it fall. Here, he has to figure it out. Yeah. See how my arm didn't move? He moved and came toward me. That's what he was slapping the rope. To get. He's trying to fight against against the reality that he's coming to. He's trying to fight against it, but he can't. So every time he steps back or tosses his head, I just keep this right on my hip and try to keep the rope tight. And when he comes forward, then the rope gets loose. And that's all by his own choice. So he's figuring this out. So we're going to work, work on this a little bit more, and then we'll come back to taking off the halter. So I've got the lead rope shortened up a bit, so he kind of has to follow me and not just pivot around. And we are actually leading. around in a circle now. Pretty good. Okay, right, so as you can see, he is now following me around. Maybe not quite like a puppy dog, but close. Following me around like a wild Mustang. So that's pretty good for today. I was able to Toss the rope over his back, over his butt, his neck, his legs. Get to the side of him more with him standing. Move his hindquarters around and get him to start leading and following me around. That's a lot of progress for the day. So that's where I'm going to end it. So I'm going to take the halter off.